Are you looking for a quick and efficient method of fastening both electrical cables and conduits to steel and concrete? If so, then these are the products that you need. So hopefully you're already familiar with this machine that I've got in front of myself, which is the GNB 18V-38 Professional Concrete Nailer, designed for fixing metal to concrete as well as metal to metal. And I have the GNB 18V-40. As the name suggests, we're taking full advantage of our now extended range of nails from 13 millimeters all the way up to 40 millimeters. So it's not just the maximum nail length that we've changed with the launch of this product, is it, Dan? No, it's not. This machine actually comes with the E-nose, or electrician's nose. This is designed to fit our fixing system. Right, before we go into that, however, we want to have a look at how it compares to the standard nose. So this is an example out of my GMB 18V-38, okay? You can see that it's obviously different. The normal nose, or the standard nose, is a little bit on the thicker side. It is important to note that actually, when you receive your GNB 18V-40, the E-nose will fit into the machine as standard, whereas the standard nose will be in the scope of delivery with an additional part, this part here, but we'll talk about that later. So Danny, what makes this E-nose so special and why do we have it? Well, this is designed specifically to work with our brand new range of cable fixing elements. So right, you can see some of them here. However, let's have a closer look at them now. So here in front of us, we can see our new range of cable fixing elements. There are 14 new products across three different groups. The first one I want to show you is the Pro EPC. These are electrical plastic clips. And probably, Dan, we'll take the opportunity now to have a look at how the E-Nose interfaces with it. Exactly. These are designed to fit specifically with the E-Nose. So simply keeping your fingers away from the line of fire there, it clips to the nose cone, allowing you to uh, not have to hold the element on the wall whilst you fire the nail. So again, leaving you a free hand to steady yourself or to hold the machine in the most comfortable way. Yeah, I've got a machine here. I have an example of the GNB 18V-40 with an E-nose, and you can see here, again, easy to pop onto the nose piece without being in the firing line and without depressing the actual nose itself. So that prevents any accidental misfiring, even though, to be honest, that wouldn't happen with our particular machine. Not only that, when it comes down to these uh, EPC uh, clips, they are also stackable as well. So you can clip one to the next and actually run multiple conduits uh, on top and below each other. That's right. We've actually got an example there of a plastic pipe, and you can see exactly how it would clip onto the plastic clip system. There you go. Like that. So obviously, you can have multiple of these along the line. And as you can see, the fitment mechanism and the fixing is so quick and easy, you could do that, not a problem, really efficient. The next one we want to have a look at is our EPB. So these are your electric plastic bows. There are two different sizes. We have one for eight cables and one for 16 cables. Exactly. Uh, this one's a little bit easier to fit to the actual nose cone. Just simply push it down lightly and there you go. Fixed on there nice and securely. Uh, then you can get the machine into the attitude at which you want to fix the actual fastening and away you go. Okay, so the next element we want to talk about is going to be the Pro EPH. This is your electrical plastic hanger. So these are available in two separate sizes. We have the EPH20, which is this one here, and the EPH40. Now the numbers denote the capacity of these hangers. So the EPH20 can take 20 standard three core cables and the EPH40 can take 40 standard three core cables. Uh, to use these particular hangers, you need to remove these two uh, plastic pieces here, uh, which leaves you with the part that you're going to be fastening to the wall and the hanger. So this simply fits onto the Enos with a simple push fit. Just a very gentle push locates that on there. There you go. You can fix that to the material you wish to, and then this simply just clips to it. That's right. In fact, actually, similar to the plastic clips, you can have these lined next to each other or on top of each other if you want extra hanging capacity. So great versatility. The next element that we want to have a look at, Dan, is we're going to have a look at the EPTs. So yes. basically the electric plastic ties. This one's pretty self-explanatory to look at them. They very easily fit to the E-nose the same way as they have before, just simply slides on there. This allows you to fasten the base piece here to the substrate and then you can tie the cables up uh, with the ratcheting tie there. That's right, you've got two different varieties and we also supply basically a blank 
So an EPTB, so you can use your own ties, whatever. Exactly. Okay, there are two different sizes, of course, that you can choose whatever is going to be your application. Okay, moving on to something a little bit smaller, but still important and very relevant, is going to be this little one here. Okay, I'm going to point that there so the camera can see it. This is the Pro yep. FPW. Okay, this is your fastening plastic washer. This is particularly important if you are trying to fix something to the wall that might pull through, for example. So you so need more surface area. Such as a, a membrane or something That's like right, that. Something yes. you don't want to tear through with the head of the nail. That's right, so you can just apply your nail through that to apply more surface area to make it a more secure fixing. The last one is in front of me down here, okay, and it's very different. This is not going to be a plas plastic type of element. This one, as you can see rolled up, is a metal band. So we call this the Pro FMS 19. So it is a metal band or metal strap, and it is 19 millimeters in width here. Okay. In fact, we don't use the e-nose for this one. We use the traditional, or I say the standard, nose that we have with the GMB38 and also have in the scope of delivery with the GMB18 V-40. As you can imagine, what you do is simply cut this down to length and then you'd fix one side and then run the cables through it and then wrap it over and then fix a nail on the other side there. And that's just a very straightforward metal strapping accessory. Okay, so that was a lot to cover, but I'm sure you want to see exactly how this works with the GMB 18 V-40, so let's do a quick demonstration. So there are alternative ways of doing this kind of application, but it would involve a lot more tools and potentially be a lot messier. You'd need a SDS rotary drill, for example, a hammer drill to drill that hole. You'd need to use some form of dowel, and then you'll need a drill driver to actually fit the fixing itself. With a concrete nailer like the GNB 18V-40 with the e-nose and these new electrical elements, it's far simpler and produces a lot less dust. So Chris is going to do a little demo for us now. We're going to be using the EPC 25. This is the 25 millimeter diameter pipe clip and also the NB25 nails. So take it away, Chris. All right, no problems. Okay, I've taken the machine off safety. I've obviously started it up. I'm gonna place it up to the wall using the foot and just apply the necessary pressure to engage the head. Okay, I've put the machine on safe now, and as you could see, the application of that fitting was very quick, effortless in fact, and produced a lot less dust compared to many other types of doing this with, say for example, a rotary drill. It's important to note before you do anything else, you must do some form of pull test. So clip that down now, give it a quick tug, make sure that is nice and secure, which it is. And then you can see plastic pipe, fit it, good job. So in this demonstration, we're gonna be using the Pro FMS 19 strapping element. Coupled with that, we have the NB25 nails, the same nails we used in the previous demonstration. However, on this demonstration, we've swapped out the E-nose for the standard fitment nose. So Chris, take it away. No problems, yes. Uh, it's important to note, I've already put in the first nail and done a quick pull test to make sure that fixing's secure. I'm just gonna put in the second nail to fully secure that cable. Nice and secure. As you saw there, quick and efficient, producing a lot less dust. Another perfect execution. In order to make your life just that little bit easier, we've also supplied a number of QR codes which we've put on the machine itself, on the packaging for the machine, on the boxes for the nails, as well as on the packaging for the elements. If you follow the link from that QR code to the website, you'll have all the information you need to know about the products, the nails and the elements and how they all fit together for this single solution. In addition, you can also print or download your ETA certification. In addition to that, uh, we mentioned it earlier actually, there is a small black magnetic ring that comes in the kit when you purchase this particular machine. Now, this is designed to fit onto the standard nose piece. So, simply clips over the top and there you go. Now this will all become clear once we release or future release of some metal elements for our handling system. So keep that safe. If you like this video, feel free to like and subscribe and place your comments down below. Outtakes. Now you may notice some serial, some serial, serialacrum. Oh, good Lord. <laughs> Don't do it.
No. <laughs> Don't do it, Dan. Don't, oh, I did it. No. So in this demonstration, we, we're going to move over there. So in this demonstration, so in this demonstration. Oh my God, no, I've demoration. really got yeah. stuck on it now. So on this demonstration, no, I can't stop laughing. Excellent. <laughs> so Dan, what else is important about this machine? <laughs> Oh, that is, there's too much of a pause. You're spot on, though. I didn't have anything else to say. 